Good morning, everybody. It's Lynn, the leather bag lady. How are you all today? It's Friday. Uh, what are we? December 17th. Um, and it is 10 to 10, not or 5 to 10. Not that you care about all that. But hey, it uh, documents my little uh, 10, 12, 15 minutes with you every day. So Today is a beautiful day. You can, I don't know if you can see that kind of sun reflecting off my big uh, six foot picture window here in the front of my house. It is gorgeous. Chilly, blue sky, not a cloud in it. It's absolutely beautiful day today. Sold some stuff on Marketplace so it will be able to be porch picked up because it's not raining or blowing a hundred kilometers an hour today. Um, so yeah, busy day as always. We'll be going to see my clients shortly. For how long, I don't know. Ontario is bracing for uh, another uh, crazy time with this Omicron variant of uh, COVID. They've already closed down some uh, city locations, arenas, senior centers. And to be honest, I'm not sure how much longer I will be with my clients just because they're such a vulnerable population. And to be fair, it's the first time I've ever really concerned myself about my exposure. I think they feel because I'm out and about in the community that my exposure is more heightened for them. But I don't know. Uh, my clients live in a facility with over a hundred other um uh, clients that have varying degrees of mental health challenges and I don't know where they go every day so I know I'm being a lot more proactive than maybe they know how to be just because of the deficits that they have so I don't know it's um, it'll be interesting in the next few days to see what happens uh, Bruce has his hockey party tonight um, I don't know. It's amazing how 24, 48 hours can just change everything. Uh, I think our numbers were 2,400 yesterday, up from 1,400, up from, I think, under 100 in August. So anyway, we Mary's calling me, but I'm going to have to leave it because I want to get my video done. I've got somebody coming to pick up some Ugg boots that I had listed on Marketplace so let's get this great bag um, on camera for you. Roots, you know how I feel about Roots. This is a beauty bag. So I got this at Value Village. I did pay up for it. So, um, but it is in excellent, excellent condition. Nice little pocket on the side. It's a chocolate brown hobo uh, crossbody. Pocket goes all the way down to the bottom. And just a beautiful, beautiful bag. There is a little bit, you can't even really see it, a little bit of wear in the corners. I will moisturize the heck out of that. There's your Roots emblem on the bottom. And inside is an excellent condition yep perfect again there's your your root sign zipper pocket there's two equally spaced slip pockets so it's hard to age these um so I've listed this as a 90s bag. Usually the black uh, label with the white writing is 80s. So I've listed this as a 90s. It has two very strong magnets for closure and this great crossbody. It's a higher sitting crossbody, but these hobo bags are kind of meant to be worn that way, I feel. Um, great shoulder bag and this bag will actually I've always wondered what this separation was for and now I know because this bag was utilizing that separation when I got it so you can see there's a natural fold in the strap so basically what that means is you take this off feed it through 
and the strap then doubles over and clips in the gap there so now you've got a super short shoulder bag if you prefer and i haven't uh, taken the time to do this properly but this will cinch this and this one will cinch this so it's not gaping all over the place so that's today's bag i'm just keeping my eye out for this lady who's coming to get these boots um gorgeous 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 bag roots is my favorite brand um i've said this many times roots is kind of our version of um coach vintage coach quality it it's it's just an amazing brand and the vintage stuff more so just sorting this out so i can put it away until somebody gives this baby a new home so um hopefully you're gonna have a good weekend uh despite all these kind of new uh scary stuff that's happening with covid i don't know we'll just take it one day at a time i guess i mean christmas is coming it just freaking sucks it really does so there we go listed already and now we've got the video in the bag so our history piece today is 2014 and it's the valentino rock stud not my favorite at all if you've ever seen um valentino shoes they have these little square metal kind of pointed studs on them i think they're god awful but that is the 2011 um that's the 2011 trend that cosmo felt was worth noting the rock studs are found on all kinds of things but predominantly shoes and bags so there's some jackets with it all over i don't know to me it's just a little tacky but um hey that's me my opinion nobody else's my opinion so just a quickie for you today have a great weekend uh hopefully you got all your christmas shopping done if you haven't get it done because i wouldn't be surprised if some stupid shit starts happening where things are gonna get shut down so i'm waiting for it I'm waiting for the gym to go back to um, reduce capacity, if any capacity. Uh, I didn't go today because I did my quota for the week. And um, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, everybody, have a good one. Have a great weekend. And I will talk to you on Monday.